Wouldn't it be cool if the internet was more like cyberspace from Neuromancer or something? So websites would look like actual places and you could see every link connecting every web page? Last time we tried doing it, it didn't work out really well. And I'm not about to do some dumbass Metaverse 2.0 thing. But visualizing websites like actual networks sounds plausible. Before we start, here's how most of the internet is built. So web pages, they have links. Those links can lead to other web pages, who also have links. Some web pages can lead back to themselves through a link. For example, this button on youtube.com. Sounds familiar? That's because of graph theory. Oh my god, bro. Oh, it also has nodes and connections. Connections go between nodes, just like links, and a node can lead back to itself through a connection. This is called the cycle. So graph theory is exactly the same as the internet. And where am I going with this, you might ask? What if I scan the whole internet and turn it into a big graph? to visualize every connection along with every web page. No, never mind. There have been some attempts at this, but the most credible one was last maintained by ancient Egyptians and doesn't have nearly the level of detail I want. We will need a more local approach. Let's do exactly that. Start from some kind of origin web page. Download all of its HTML code and find all the places where it says href. That's where links in HTML are usually placed. Go to those other web pages and do the same for them. Mm. Now, to implement this in Python, we're gonna do the following Make a function that takes in a URL, loads its HTML, uses regular expressions to extract all the links, and returns them in a list. From this point, I could start doing some complicated data structure thing, but before that, let's see how I can visualize the graph. ChatGPT, how to do a node graph in Python, let's see... Network X, yeah, let's try that. So, as you can tell, this is a library that is usually used to represent mathematical graphs in Python. Just what we need. And wait a second. It has a feature that makes it so if I connect something to a non-existing node, it automatically creates it. This is extremely useful because I can just loop over that list of new links that we got from the function and connecting all of the links from the function's output to the function's input link. So if the links I'm trying to connect already exist, they will just be connected. If one does not exist, however, it is created automatically by network X. Let's implement that in Python. And there we go. This is a time lapse of YouTube being scanned in real time. Oh, that note has quite a lot of connections. Let's check what it is. Add the labels. Alright, that's not going to work. We need a better visualization method. Let's ask ChatGPT. PyViz? What's that? Let's implement its visualization. There we go. So it creates an HTML file. Let's open it. Uh, why is the graph breathing? Oh, it's using Ooh. spring physics to arrange itself into a more readable shape. That's really clever. I have an idea for an upgrade. It would be nice if I could click nodes individually and have them scanned. But for that I'll need to somehow turn every node into a button, and for that I'll need to use JavaScript. No, 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 we're not doing that. We will need a big code restructuring. This new version will have a physics-based graph alignment system, or whatever. 
And since we're doing such a big code change, I might just switch to another platform. Ew, what is this? Get out. Now, before doing anything, let me explain some basic Unity lore to you. Everything is a game object. Game objects have components. Components can be either custom C -sharp scripts or C -sharp scripts that Unity provides you with, such as colliders, physics, cameras, renderers, etc. etc. And those scripts can do pretty much anything. So we'll create a new game object, call it node. Give that node a custom C-sharp script to make it so if you click on the node, it will scan the URL associated with itself, after which spawning clones of itself, one for each newly discovered URL. I won't bore you with how I implemented the physics, but there are basically three rules. One, each node should try to keep its connected nodes at a sweet spot distance. Number two, nodes that aren't connected should repel each other. And number three, this one is optional, but every node should have a force pulling it towards the center. After that, I added some camera movement, some UI, and here's the finished game, I guess you could call it. So this is the Unity project, let's start the game. To add a specific link node, you click tab, write in the URL that you want to explore, click the button, and as you can see a new node has spawned. To scan that node, click it, and there we go. As you can see some links connected to it just spawned. So every line is a hyperlink and every star dot thing is a web page. The central node that you see here is the YouTube homepage and from that you see some links, some other web pages connected to it like YouTube slash about slash news slash contact us etc. On the bottom left of the screen you can see some information on the currently locked node such as its URL Cycle means if it leads to itself or it doesn't, and if it has been scanned or not. Now let's spawn a few more nodes to showcase the physics. And now as expected they are pretty cluttered up. To make them properly arrange themselves, I can click G to move that throttle thing up, which will make the physics start working. The units on the throttle is how many seconds pass between each physics update and the, the reason I did that is because Unity by itself can render thousands of these nodes and lines like easily above 250 fps but my less than ideal physics implementation can't handle working in real time. After searching through quite a bit of examples the general shape of websites is like some kind of clump of very well interconnected nodes in the middle and from there you see some link hubs going out and from those link hubs they, like, they kind of look like flowers a bunch of other links come out. Another interesting thing that I thought was kind of curious is if I add another random web page for example scan it and you see that it has like a connection to youtube so like that web page probably has some kind of youtube video to on it and from that youtube video it connects back to the main page of youtube so yeah you see like unexpected connections between websites like this there you go some weird way to explore websites in the future i might add a built-in html parser display thing so you can actually go to the websites from in-game along with some sort of open source search engine so you don't have to copy paste exact links. Maybe even VR support, as current VR browsers are pretty much non-existent. Anyways all the code is on GitHub along with somewhat of a functional game build. I tried doing some documentation on it, writing comments and such, but uh, we'll see if I finish it till uploading this video. Thanks for watching.